A section of Japan is no longer administering the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine after black particles were found in a vial. BBC reports that a pharmacist in the Kanagawa prefecture noticed the foreign substance while checking the vaccine before use. Takeda Pharmaceutical, a Moderna vaccine distributor in Japan, announced on August 26 they were suspending three lots of the vaccine following the reports. Over 3,000 people had already been vaccinated from that supply, BBC reported. We are aware of unofficial reports that have provided initial indication of the type of particle matter in the vials. These reports are inconclusive and it is important to rely on a formal investigation before determining the precise nature of the particle. Moderna and Takeda said in a joint statement. On August 28, both companies were notified of two people who had died in Japan shortly after getting the Moderna vaccine, but did not have any evidence the two were correlated. According to BBC, local reports did not find evidence of the foreign substance causing any health hazards and the contaminated vial is being investigated by Decada last week, Japan suspended over 1.6 million doses of Moderna after becoming aware of contamination in some of the supply, Reuters reported. Some contaminated vials are suspected to have been caused by needles sticking in the vials and ripping off parts of the rubber stopper. Japan has seen a rapid increase in COVID-19 cases since mid-July and reported 14,963 confirmed cases on Tuesday, according to data from the World Health Organization. The Spanish pharmaceutical firm Rovi, which bottles the vaccine, said in a press release last Thursday that the foreign substances found in vials could have come from manufacturing lines. Moderna is conducting an investigation, and plans to release its findings on the contaminated vials sometime next week. In the U.S., the Moderna vaccine was deemed safe by peer-reviewed studies, and in May was found safe and effective in children from the ages of 12 to 17. Follow reporter Asha Gilbert at Coastal Asha. Email, ajilbert at usatoday.com.